Veep stakes are underway as Vice President Kamala Harris gets ready to choose her running mate for November. Harris officially will clinch the Democratic nomination tomorrow when the DNC's virtual roll call closes. It comes as she's scheduled to spend the week touring battleground states across the country. The only question is, who is she bringing along? Max Darrow looks at the options. Vice President Kamala Harris's so-called Veep stakes will likely come to a conclusion by Tuesday, giving Americans a first look at the Democratic ticket. And whoever Harris picks as her running mate will carry weight, says David McEwen, a political science professor at Sonoma State. It does matter in the home state. What the person that you select adds usually about two to two and a half points to that state's total. The shortlist includes Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. If you had to say today who you think she'll pick, who do you think it would be? All right, so if I had to pick uh, and lay the money down, I think it actually would be Tim Waltz, and that's because I think there is some worry about Governor Shapiro uh, being Jewish and with uh, Muslim American voters in Michigan. The view with Waltz is that even though you get him from Minnesota, you bookend into those Rust Belt states. On Face the Nation Sunday, the president of the United Automobile Workers Union, which has endorsed Kamala Harris, weighed in. I believe a Harris and Bashir ticket would be unbeatable. I, I believe both of them would just be such dynamic candidates. But uh, we really like Tim Walls from Minnesota also. think he's an awesome guy for labor, 100% behind labor. And uh, those would be our top two if we had to pick any. Harris plans to campaign alongside her running mate on Tuesday in Pennsylvania, kicking off a battleground state tour. Right after they leave Philadelphia, they're going to Wisconsin, they're going to Michigan, then North Carolina, Georgia, ending up in Arizona and Nevada. So they have a full week in these battleground states that really kind of push forward. Heading into the tour, the latest CBS News poll shows Harris has gained momentum. She currently has a one-point edge over former President Donald Trump among likely voters nationally. President Biden was down five points to Trump when he bowed out of the race. One thing that is clear, is still unclear, is when Harris and Trump will debate each other or will we even have a debate at all? Mr. Trump had committed to debating President Biden on ABC but pulled out after Biden withdrew from the race. The Harris campaign says she's still planning on attending that debate, but Mr. Trump said Friday he wants to debate Vice President Harris on Fox News. Professor McEwen says he would bet on at least one debate happening between now and November. And we argue in political science, look, campaigns don't matter, debates don't matter. Obviously, the debate that Joe Biden held uh, and, the, and the poor performance that he had there upset and changed the trajectory of this race. That is, th those are going to be must-watch TV events, uh, very exciting in some ways. And they could change the minds of some voters uh, this particular election. McEwen also says he fully expects to see at least one vice presidential debate between Ohio Senator J.D. Vance and Harris's running mate.